Peace and grace be with you, saints. It's Brother Mike, man of God. Um, I know some of you guys may say, um, Brother Mike, you're not leaving videos like you used to. What's going on? You know, and you're absolutely right. Um, in my last video, God showed me something powerful, you guys. And, um, you know, God is working with me. You know, the Bible says that we got to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. And that's exactly what I've been doing, Saints. You know, I refuse to leave, you know, just any videos. You know, uh, I can say a lot of things, you guys. And, you know, I can get on here and leave just any videos that thought, any thought that come up on my head, you know. And I'm not going to do that. Every video that I put up, I want to give glory to my Father. And I want to edify the body of Christ. Amen, Saints. Um. I want to let you guys know how important it is to, you know, to stay ready for the Lord. And um, there's not many people that's talking about what we really need to be talking about. And that's staying ready. And that's um, talking about what Jesus talked about. You know, in Matthew, he talked about hell over 42 times. But see, when you get on YouTube, everybody's smiling. Everybody's, oh, the rapture's finna happen. It's all good, right? You know, you go to church, hey, hallelujah. You know, the Lord is coming. We're all going to heaven. You ask everybody and ask them, yep, they're going to heaven. All the saints, yep, we're all going to heaven and we're doing this, we're going to heaven. But I want to take y'all to some chapters that that was suggest otherwise and will make you look in your life and make you look after this video deep down inside you and make sure that you're ready. Let's go to Matthew 7 verse 13 and 14. Enter ye in at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in there at verse 14 because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it these are words that's coming out of Christ's mouth y'all he said few is going to find it let's go to verse 19 same chapter Matthew chapter 7 verse 19 every tree that beareth not forth good fruit is hacks down and cast into the fire. Let me read that again for you guys. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hacks down and cast into the fire. So if you are not telling other people about the Lord and you are not praying, if you're not worshiping, if you're not uplifting others, that's bringing forth good fruit. If you're on YouTube and you're just bashing other people and you got clicks and you're telling and bashing other channels and doing all of these things, you don't belong to Jesus. You don't belong to Jesus. God said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. That's what the Lord says. We must strengthen, unlift, uplift, and encourage one another, saints. He said we will know them by their fruits. We will know them by their fruits. And I believe in Jesus Christ. He said narrow is the way that leads to heaven. And very few find it. Let's go to Matthew 24, verse 37. I don't have time to read all of these chapters. But God is talking about Noah. As in the days of Noah, they're going to be marrying and giving in marriage and selling and buying and doing all of these different things. And the Lord is going to come. You see, he's going to come at a time where they think not. But see, the important part about the Noah thing is that seven went in the ark with Noah. Seven plus Noah, that means eight went in. And he referenced his return to Noah. Let's go to another reference. We go to Luke um, 17, 28. It talks about Lot. You see, Lot, the angel of the Lord came to Lot and said, Look, you have to leave here because I am sent here by the Lord to destroy this place. And y'all have to leave. 
And we know that Lot, his wife, and a couple of more other people, and they left up out of there. But we know that Lot's wife turned around to give one last look at a place that she loved so much. And she turned into a pillow of salt because she disobeyed God. They said, do not look back. You see? And some saints right now are turning back and turning forward and turning back, getting right with the Lord, but then going back a little bit. And some of you guys are about to turn into a pillow of salt. Amen. Praise God. We got to continue when God say don't do something. We cannot look back. We cannot be like Lot's wife. Praise the living God saints. And I'm talking to myself too. Because so many of us get comfortable because the Lord heaven came and we get back into sin a little bit. And we take advantage of the Lord because he's so patient, not willing that anyone shall suffer, but that all shall come to eternal life and repent. You see? But some of us turn, turn around and we haven't turned it to salt yet. And some of us turn around and we haven't turned it. But one day the rapture is going to happen and you're going to turn it to that salt. You see, praise God. Thank you, Lord, for this message. Let's go to Matthew 18, verse 7, and I'm going to read this one, saints. Verily I say unto you, who shall ever, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall no wise enter therein. Praise the living God. God is telling you, unless you become like a little child and humble yourself. You see, children, when they're young, they're obedient. They listen. They, they, they try to get knowledge. They depend on their parents. You see? They, 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 they totally surrender and they depend on their parents. When a little child, a little baby, they can't depend on their self. They don't, they don't try to do things for their self. They depend and God wants you to depend on him. He don't want you to make selfish and, and, and harmful things about yourself, but lean to God. Seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added. You will not enter into the kingdom of God unless you do this. Unless you receive the kingdom of God like a little child. You see. And saints. The Lord is coming. And he's coming. For saints that love him. And have a relationship with him. So many people believe. That they're going to heaven. But so many people are not dropping everything. You see a man asked Jesus. What can I do to enter into the kingdom of God? Jesus says sell everything that you have. And follow me. Give up everything that you have. And follow me. That's what the Lord will, will have all of us do. We have to give up everything. And follow him. Saints I will lie to you. If I told you that everybody's going in the rapture. Because they're not. Only the ones that's holy. God said, be holy for I am holy. We have to give up everything for the Lord. If anything is calling you to sin, you have to pray about it. You have to fast about it. We have to turn away from these things that can cause us to get left behind. And I want to talk to some of you people that's scared. We know that the UN is in the United States. We know that the government has bought 1.5 billion bullets. They bought guillotines and they're gearing up. They're already starting to kill people. And we're seeing the love of many is waxing cold right now. But I'm telling you right now, if you're not arming yourself to die in the name of the Lord, if you're not gearing yourself up mentally to be able to give your life up for the Lord, because we don't know when the rapture is going to happen. It's a signless event. It can happen today before I upload this video. It can happen first thing in the morning. It can happen five years from now. So persecution will probably come first. We don't know which one comes first. God said, pray ye always that you are able to escape these things. Things. Luke 21 36 but I'm telling you saints whatever come first we stand just like Ephesians chapter 6 said stand knowing that you've done all 
you can do to stand, putting on the whole arm of God, telling your wife, telling your husband, telling your children. If we have to give our life for the Lord, look, death can't hold us. It didn't hold Christ. It didn't hold all the apostles. There's people living in heaven. Praise God. Hallelujah. And you will live. God said those that try to save their life shall lose their life. That means those that try to save their life and get this mark, they're going to lose their life. But see, those that lose their life for the Lord shall gain eternal life. Saints, I don't know what comes tomorrow, but God does. He said he will never leave nor forsake us. It said the Lord shall descend from heaven with the shout and the voice of the archangel and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And then those of us that remain in alive shall be caught up together with the Lord. So shall we ever be with him. I believe in that, saints. I believe in God. And I believe what Jesus said about hell. Broad is the path and many are going in there every day, saints, because people are playing around with God. People are playing around with God and people are not forgiving one another. They was nailing Jesus Christ to the cross and he said, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. But you got people on YouTube that won't forgive each other, that talk bad about each other. People in our neighborhoods, people at your job, they talk bad about each other. But we all want to go in the rapture, right? I tell everybody that's listening to this, forgive. Let's seek God with all our heart, mind, and strength. And let's get ready to enjoy the greatest event that we've ever seen, the return of our King. We have to do this together. We have to come together in prayer. We have to seek God. Seek God while he shall be found. Some of you guys are living in sin that's you're willfully sinning. Some people that's watching this, and I'm telling you right now, God loves you. He doesn't want you to get left behind. That's the reason why he has not came yet. But get right with the Lord. God bless you guys. I love you guys. And I thank all the new subs. Thank you guys for watching these videos. If you guys need to reach me, my information will all be in the description box. May the Lord Jesus Christ be with us all in these final moments. Come Lord Jesus, come.